Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Alex Parker of the Show Series here in MLB 22 PS5 episode. I don't even know. 120 something. 122, maybe? Good episode last time out, um, but we did lose the last one against the Yanks. We will wrap up. Yeah, we'll wrap up August today. Um, not really too worried about records. I think we're going to be good uh, unless things go really south in these last two months. Hey, Koji Yamasa is back and will play right field for us. Okay. Welcome back, Koji. Anyways, I'm not too worried about records. We're not going to win the division. We're not going to um, give up our wild card spot unless something goes terribly wrong. So, I don't know. This is going to be an odd rest of the season because you're chasing something unattainable and you are holding off something that's really not likely to happen. So, we'll see. We still got over 60 games left to go, so there's so much baseball left to be played. But unless things go really south, I think we'll be fine. Even if we go 25 and 35, which is unlikely, we're still 10 games above 500, so we'd be 86 and 76. So. Anyways, if you haven't checked out the Taylor Brooks series, go check that out. It's a good time. It's going well. Uh, we are close to the playoffs there. Like, very close. Like, three games from the playoffs. So, if you want to check up on that or go catch up, then now's the time. Because we're about to hit some really important games. 3-1. Ball four as Schwartz misses outside. So, here comes Mike Lolich. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Stepping in, Mike Lolich. Oh, and now a wild pitch. There's a strong chance we see uh, right there. Just on, just two 100 RBI guys on the team. And a two one on the way. Unless and Lolich really gets it going, I don't believe he's going to make it. Runners at first and second. Two two to Lolich. The pitch is a Next hanging curveball outside. And now it's three and two. I don't think Lolich is going to make it. Walker's not going to make it. Mauricio won't make it. Rodriguez won't make it. So, just the two of us, and that's if Parker makes it. So, strike out there for Schwartz. Mauricio's our last hope here. Ronnie Mauricio now. Next pitch is outside. Ball two. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just. Why were you not moving, Alex? It does not matter. It's popped up, and we will put a couple on. Nobody will score. Michael McGreevy did not have a good start last time out. Koji Amasa's first at bat back, and he strikes out. And now the catcher comes up to him. I'd rather not take a two game sweep here. Line drive to short and caught. So the Yanks go. Double from Maiton, and then our top Here's two the guys in the order are tired. So nobody's scoring yet. Parker will have the chance. And the first offering is not Walked close. last time. We have. Got on base a good amount this year, hitting 324, but our on base percentage sits well above, uh, not well above, but above 400, 401. We've walked 52 times, now 53 after today. Been hit a couple times. That is hit well. The splitter is carrying. It's to the wall and it's caught. They will score one. We are tied. Maiton's second double of the day, but the top of the lineup is not getting it done. Back here in New York, all set for the We lead off the sixth here. From Milwaukee, Alex Parker. Swing and slider. And that is strike one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases. Oh, and pick up a run. out in front. And a foul ball. This guy throws so soft. Timed right it fine. Uh, it's just handles the, the chance. Sends it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Dustin May is a go-to here. Caught him stealing. 
Two run shot. Welcome back, Koji Hamasa. Riley Green drives one more in, and it's four to one. We will get intentionally walked here. Thanks, Blue. Here with thanks, Skip. Mike Lulich will be the hitter. I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Kicks and fires. Looking for some insurance. <laughs> Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Comes the two to the pitch. Not the best swing that time. Struck him out. Pitch. And that is that. We do lead it by three, though. Dustin May's still going to pitch. Odd. Score him. Okay. Pearson is in. Good job. Solo shot. Will Rodriguez. It's five to one. First, stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Alex Parker. We've walked a couple times today, and we hit that one hard foul. Ugh. In the dirt, but kept close. In there. Riley will get the second. Sets us up for an RBI like we've been setting him up all year. How about RBI number 60, 76? Alex, be there. Oh, it's popped up. You bomb. Well, we definitely timed some today. That one was a good pitch, but. It's 6 to 1. Pearson will close us out. Ball game over, and the Brewers will walk away with a dub today. Okay, so good win for the Milwaukee Brewers, and we will head on to play the New York Mets in Queens. I think that's where New York Mets are. I don't know. <sighs> My Hunter Brown will be on the mound. All right, let's ball. So it can't be too bad. We won. Alex Parker, won at least. All right, Alex. Fifth in the NL in batting average. We've always hated playing the Mets, and we are going to continue to suck against them. Steps on first for the out. Alex is a really bad baseball player right now. Not really bad, but you know what I mean. We score two. Kevin Maiton stays hot. Come stealing. Good job, Alvaro. We're down to 321. Down the line and foul. Righty to the plate. Don't believe we're actually an 8.1 war. That can't be right. We've got to be at like a six. Sure enough, we are an 8.1. Okay, never mind. Now move to first. And he's back in safely. All right, Riley. That is going to be chopped into right. It'll be a base hit. Brewers are looking good here to start the third. First hit of the episode. And now it's going to be Mike Lolich. 0 for 1 so far. And he deals. And now 2 and 1. Lolich is coming off a not great game. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Left hand hitter waits. Rip the line to center. No trouble. Right out of guy. And Parker will have to skedaddle back to first. Man, that's one of those. That's a tough one. You have to remind yourself. Hey, Ronnie. It's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. 
and it's even up. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of On going the ground. Out. That is a clear Slips cut second. double play. What a double play that was. Tough over. middle of the third. Hoping Hunter Brown just continues to pitch well. So two away with nobody on. Victor Neve up Mets. now for the Mets. The Kicks and deals. Out Shot. To short. Tough Parker. play. Parker Alexa. fires. Got run. him. Sends it over to first. Speedy runner. And the Mets go one. Victor Neve is retired. Not much going on other than a three for three day for Riley Alex Green. Parker. Shot into right, and it's another base hit. Sneaks through, base hit. Once again, the Brewers have first and second. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Next to hit, Mike Lolich. 1-1 one, one now. Upstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Action in the Mets bullpen. Johnny Williams, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Sherry warming up as well. Got him swinging. Polich is just not, not it right now this episode. He's struggled bad, and it'll be Mauricio. 3-1. Swing and misses. 3-2, so we're going to be moving. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Mauricio facing his former team in the Mets. And that'll load a the former bases. team. He will walk here and load him for I'm Jordan Walker. Walker down the line. It's played. He steps on the bag. And Robert Dominguez holds this thing in a two-run game. Joe Matt now at the plate. Grounded out his first time. The catcher, number 34. The pitch. That is in the hole. Two on. And there's a base hit. Nobody out. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Runner got thrown out at the plate. So the batting order turns Whoever did over. that, great Miguel job. Lima up now for the Mets. Much needed, and here comes Miguel Lima. Shoots it on the ground at Parker. Parker. He will throw to Rodriguez, end of the fifth. That is that. Hunter Brown gives up three straight hits, but nobody scores. He's got to face the three and four here in the sixth. Brown continuing to work his ERA down. It's a good five starter, man. Out to short. Throw to first is two down. Two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. It's been a great five starter. Riley Green is four for four. First with one gone. Up now for Milwaukee, Alex Parker, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. Hmm. He swings and fouls one off. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Is this one in the a dirt. bad pitch. Nice job behind the plate there. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Got a lucky call there. Green leads off first with one away. Next one misses, and the count is even, 2-2. Two and two. Similar pitch, but it's inside, so 2-2. Two, two. That's downstairs and three to him. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Good fastball. It was above the zone. Should have taken it, but really hasn't put much in the zone outside of the first pitch. He Popped missed up. again, and I swung. Ah! That puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. We blow it again with people on. We have Here's struggled bad. That came right in this hole last time, so we're gonna just scooch over. Tying run at the plate. 
They did it again. Hello, thank you. Great job. Great idea scooting over, and that actually saved a base hit. We do get one more. We're gonna get one more. Riley Green with a 5-4-5 five five day. And here is Alex Parker. This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding defensive end. Gets Drops into the glove, so lucky. And that'll do it. Hunter Brown's going to keep going. Never mind. Bob Gray comes in and gives up a hit. Scores a run, but that's it. 4-1, to one, Wantiagua. Don't just allow people out. Thank you. All right. A dub. 4-1 is your final. Or 2-0 on the episode. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Lefty Chase Petty on the mound, and Riley Green is six for his last six. The shortstop at the play. Alex Not a lefty, I lied. Emerson Hancock for us. Petty is sitting at a 5.01 ERA. The Mets are 55 and 50 in leading their division. Couldn't be us. Hit it well, but this elevation sucks here. It's not carrying anywhere. I hate this ballpark. It's an ugly ballpark. It's not a good ballpark experience because of its location in town. Emerson Hancock is the worst pitcher on our team right now. Can you believe that? He is the ace of this team, and he stinks. Here at the ballpark, all set for the He's start of the awful. Up now for Milwaukee, Alex Parker. First offering misses badly for ball one. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next offering misses, two balls, no strikes. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently. We're taking all of See the results. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Problem is Hancock Easy just straight up right stinks. Last pitch wasn't even like. much to think about. So next it's the Brewers cleanup hitter, Mike Lolich. And the right hander deals. And a strike. Parker on at first. Nobody out. On the ground is short. Could Should've be won. two. Off balance feed. There's one. Rolich continues to stink it up. Play. Five to one. Two outs. Nobody on. Digging in. Alex Parker. And Deep one right. Hammered. Is the elevation going to steal one from us? No, it is not. Just gets out. Get up and get out of here. Alex Parker has number 26 on the year. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad. Adam Moon stinks. Not looking good today. How many guys are we going to walk? It's Parker hit number 26 earlier. Alex Parker will hit next. First pitch, and he just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 1 0. Nope, that's a ball. In the air, out towards right center. Tough. Feliz makes the catch, and that'll... All right, well, one, two, and three. With two outs here in the ninth, they will switch to the lefty for Parker and... If needed, Lolich. Lolich represents the tying run, so who knows? I mean, goal is simple. Get on. 
the adrenaline doesn't get high enough. And Alex just misses this another one. On hit well. Way back there. Did he? And that he was did not. He leaves the yard to right. Get up and get out of here, Alex. That's number 27 on the year. I thought he missed it. Chris, he just tied Reggie Jackson on the old time. Tie Reggie Jackson. That's number five six three. One of the biggest home run hitters. Of Another two time. homer day for Reggie Alex Jackson, in his career, but this one's over. One run game here today. That's Your so score, unfortunate. Emerson Hancock stinks. And well, we don't need to trust Almost him anymore. Ready to get underway, and our pitcher in this game, Trevor Rogers. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Alex Parker Good takes fastball. a strike there as he stands at the plate now. So Parker added five RBIs and yesterday in the loss, unfortunately. He's trying to get back into that MVP talk. Riley Green, the runner on first. And strike two. Oof. Green over at first with one away. Next pitch misses. It's two, and it counts two. even at two. And now the lefty. Now one oh. miss. Let's see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try and tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Uh, the, the middle. Could be two. The blooded second. On the first double play, and that's the inning. Stepping in is the speed. Still zeros. Alex Parker. That's solid. Just right there. on the ground again. It up. And there are two outs. Alex. Well, he's doing a nice job Why in close games do you stay? Bottom of the fourth. And stepping in for New York, Guillermo Feliz. The center fielder. Swing and a ground ball out to short. One up, one down. Can't hit Trevor Rogers. Base is empty, one away. Now at the plate, Joe Mack struck out swinging his first time. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Dominant performance for him today, Boone. Golly, man. Still tied at zeros. Back, top of inning number seven. And here is Alex Parker. And there's a foul ball. Rodgers continues to be a good pitcher for this Mets team. And now the one. Golly, Alex. And he takes it himself for the Why can't we hit this boom? The like hitting them. Bum. Hey, Mike Lovich, good job. Don't give it up. Don't. Okay. We put in Nate Pearson. He gets a one, two, three. Okay with that choice. Now it's the shortstop. Now it's gonna be Alan Tiagua. It's gonna be one nothing. Alex, come on, man. Now is the time for the solo shot, you know. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through. What a terrible pitch. A real or swing. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Going to count one and two. 0 2 pitch that far The long the solo shot the has the Brewers the lead. Back into this at bat. Fouled off. Rounds one to the right side. And that's just it's foul. 1 2. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. It's two and two. Really good. That was a good pitch. Two it was a ball, but two down, nobody on. 
fouled off. Two outs. We are full. Lolich on deck. Had a big swing in his last at bat. Parker will take his base. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in. Here's right Mike Woolwich, who went. Find the strike zone. Long ball in his last at bat. He can bat foul ball a long way. A slide step. Lolich into center. It is first and third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. With two outs, and who's stepping up? Jordan Walker, who's 0 quarters. for 3. Next for Milwaukee, Jordan Walker. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a miss. One and two. And a pitch. Got him. And that is that. We will not extend. Middle of the ninth. Come on, Ronald. Nope. Caught him. We win it. Come on, baby. Let's freaking go. We win the series. Two to one. Win the episode. Three to one. Montiagua grabs more saves. That's awesome. Keep balling, Ronald. Um, and the Brewers continue to push ahead. And we will be six games back still. And then the wild card. The Padres are 60 and 46, and they're five up on the D-backs, and we are 66 and 41. So, do your own math. We're about 11 games ahead, 10 and a half. Anyway, six games behind there, and we are going to continue to try to chase the Cubs. But I don't know; it's probably to no avail. We will start the month of August in the next one. See how that goes. We are sitting in second in MVP. Riley Green's at 26 more RBIs than us. And a way better average, so. He's back on top of the batting title, yeah. Six for six will do that for you. We have the Hank Aaron Award, though. We are not going to win the Gold Glove, but hey, look at Kevin Maiton in there. I don't think we're in the running for many Gold Gloves. Actually, Riley Green's in there for center field. Um... Silver Slugger, William Rodriguez looks good. Maiton has a chance, apparently. Parker is going to win the shortstop award. Riley Green easily going to win an outfield award. So, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll have Pittsburgh and Baltimore in our next one. That's it for me. That's Alex Parker, episode 523 in the books.